TorahCafe.com. It's hard to say this because we always want to be compassionate. And when somebody is struggling with emotional negativity, the response always should be a sensitive response. So I don't say this to anyone, and if you're going through a hard time right now, I'm not speaking to you. I'm not telling you get over it. I'm not telling you uh, toughen up. In fact, I'm not talking to anyone. I'm talking to myself. Negative emotions basically have one thing in common, self-obsession. They're all self-obsession, whether it's fear or worry or resentment or anger or sadness. They all center on me. And the problem is, when I'm focused on me, I cut myself off from him. Joy, true joy, I don't mean pleasure-seeking, I don't mean uh, f frivolity, I mean true gladness and joy is the exact opposite. It's selflessness. That's when you become this open pipeline and the energy just flows. Everything flows. When you're in a state of joy, everything's flowing. That's why in Tanya, the, the, the terms that go together are simcha and psichos halev. Simcha is joy. Psichos halev means an open heart, a heart where everything's flowing. The energy is moving and it's moving in this direction, from me, through me, out to the world so that I can accomplish my God-given mission. When I'm experiencing toxic emotions, that all gets clogged up, it gets stopped up. And now I'm just in myself and it becomes a vicious cycle. It just starts repeating itself. I get more and more, I perseverate more and more on the original thing that I was perseverating on. It just, and, and the only way to break it is to get out of ourselves. Or really more accurately, because there are toxic ways of getting out of yourself too, you know, self-stimulation, self-distraction, self-medication, numbing yourself, addictions. The real way, the real way is to get over yourself, to get over yourself, to attach yourself to a power greater than yourself. And then everything flows, everything goes easy because nothing can stop the power of God as it's flowing through you.